Shamai. Hi, I'm Bean. Winnie the dog has disappeared with his Christmas hat, but I've got the lovely moth sat on my lap. And this is the giving tree. And I've come here to give you my tip on managing rejections. If like me, you enter competitions, open submission slots, or are querying your novel, you'll know how disheartening a rejection letter can be. I was listening to an interview once with Philip Pullman and he said that there were three things involved in getting published. The first is talent, which obviously we have. The second is hard work and the third is luck. And he says, so work hard and good luck. I've had plenty of rejections this year as well as successes, a few successes anyway, in between the rejections, <laughs> which has been rather lovely. Once I get past the tragedy of a rejection, which can be quite dramatic sometimes, um, I'll look at the piece of writing again with fresh eyes and ask myself if, if there's anything that needs changing. Sometimes I'll share it in, with other writers in a writing community. If you're not part of a writing group, then I strongly advise you to join one. I, they've helped me so much with my writing and yeah just to be able to give feedback and to receive feedback it's helped me look at my work more critically and um, yeah just helped me grow as a writer so once I'm happy with my piece of writing this is the important bit I'll send it out again to another competition or agent or open submission slot and I keep on doing it until somebody reads it and enjoys it and takes it on patience and persistence you have to believe in your own writing as mrs bush and mr gabriel once said don't give up because somewhere there's a place your words belong which is very true something like that anyway nadole clown a bloy the knoweth that as they say in wales merry christmas and a happy new year Oh, and if you would like to see some of my stained glass things, because I also make stained glass windows, um, head over to artisanrising.co.uk. Or if you would like to follow my blog and read some of my words, then head over to beansoya.co.uk.